Hello sewing friends. In this video I'm going to show you how to clean the shuttle area for the Kenmore model 1941. So I have some tweezers. I have some, what is this called? What is this called? I don't remember, what, what is this called? I don't even know what this is called. I'm at a blank. And I also have some cotton balls. And then I also have some sewing machine oil. So now we're going to go ahead and remove everything so we can get to the shuttle care, shuttle area. So let me go ahead and I'm going to remove this piece here. Take that top piece off. This is the show area that we're cleaning. <clears throat> and there's a button back here. We could slide this off. So I'm going to put these pieces to the side. Okay, so you remove your bobbin carrier out. And this is the shuttle area. I'm also going to take my presser foot off. So it's important to clean this area because this area should be kept free of dust, any lint, and any tangled thread that could arise whenever you have a bird's nest. So these are the two levers that hold the shuttle area nice and tight. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to swing these to the side. It's a click. So there's this little knot right here that covers it. So that's how it clicks on and then it clicks off. So I'm going to open this one. I'm going to remove everything that's in there. And as you can see, there's all that dust. Now you can see all the dust that accumulates in that area. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm also going to pop my needle plate off. So there's a little black knob right here. If you slide your hand across the front of this, you should feel something jaggy right here. So you want to push that, and then that's how the plate pops off. And so now if we look into my machine, you can see all that dust in there. So we're going to go ahead using my, or you can use a brush. My brush is covered with oil, so I'm not using it. So I'm going to use the pipe cleaners. That's what this is called. And just get rid of all that dust. Let me zoom out some. If you want to, you can also remove these plates here. And I'll, you don't have to. You don't have to remove these when cleaning your machine, but I'm going to take them off. And little tiny screws. I'm going to set them aside. Take my face plate off. There is a lot of dust in there. So I create like a little circle so I can go in there and, and dust everything off. Just taking my time. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to go to the bottom and clean out that area.
Get all that dirt. Now I'm going to move my levers out the way because I just want to clean anything that's in at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to spin my I don't even know the hand wheel turn a hand wheel just so I can clean out the dust the dust that is around this area in here so now that my cut my um, pipe cleaner has done its job now I'm going to grab a cotton ball put it between my tweezers and I'm going to grab a little bit of alcohol actually have <clears throat> just put a little bit of alcohol on there and what I do is <clears throat> I use this to clean this part of the machine just to pick up any fine dust that my pipe cleaners are not grabbing so I don't use the alcohol on the shuttle area just to go in behind everything if you can see the extra it's a very fine dust that it's um, picked up. Hold on, let me see here. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Get in those creases and crevices where the, the plate is, the needle plate. All right, so the dirt on that. Okay, so that is it for that. Now I'm going to grab another cotton ball. Now I'm going to clean the pieces that came out here. I'm going to clean this out. There's dust in there. Now I'm going to clean. This is the uh, this is the shuttle race cover. So this is called a race cover. And then this is the shuttle. Okay, all of that. Okay, I'm going to clean the, the plate as well to get any dust that may accumulate in that those slacks slots there. And then the bobbin carrier looks good. So now it's time to clean up my little area here. This is all the dirt that came out of there. When you look at the uh, evidence of infiltration of the dust kind, so that's what I end up with. I don't have a schedule for when I clean my machine. Um, I think maybe it's like after every four projects or something like that. Um, and I'm also guilty of not changing my needle between projects. Because <laughs> sometimes, oh, I'll get into that later. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my machine back together. Get my Make sure that my needle is all the way up. I'm going to put the needle plate back on. I'm going to put my needle plate back on here. So here's the lever that I was talking about. This is what you're going to feel. So it has, it's like a little spring, it has some give to it. So this just pops right back down in there. 
Now we're going to do the oil. I almost forgot. Um, this is what I have. It's just a Singer all-purpose machine oil. Even though this is a Kenmore. <laughs> so we're going to put some oil right here on the shuttle race. This, this area right here. So I'm just going to take my machine and lean it back. And just drop one drop of oil right on right in that area. So the area that I was aiming for, if you can see this black area around here, that's what I was trying to get the oil in. And then I'm gonna give it a little swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Okay. And then I'm going to put some oil right here on the pin. So I just dropped one drop of oil right in this area on the pin. So I'm this is going to go in as a moon. Let me back up some. Now we're going to put the shuttle back into the machine. So the needle is going to be in, in the up position because as the needle is in the up position, this part of the uh, race shuttle is going to be to the left. And now we're going to take the shuttle and we're going to put it make put it a half moon on the right and you want to set it so there's kind of like these two two different like levels like steps it's one here and one here so if you push down and slide in here so you want the shuttle to rest on this inner lip on the inside Take some, if you have to move the machine, it takes a while. It takes me a minute to, okay, there it's in there. Oh, don't want this bugger to fall out. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the, uh, the cover, this piece here. And when you look at the top of it, it has an opening of a U. You want that U to be facing up. We're not going this way. We're not going this way. So this is the U facing down. You want to have the U facing up. And you're gonna take, there's a little, right here, there's a little notch. There's a little opening right here. You're gonna take this little knob that's on the bottom of the cover. There's the U and you're going to put that knob. You're going to make sure that that when you when you put the shuttle cover in there, this little knob is going to go right into that opening. So I usually hold it with two thumbs like this and then push it in there. Now I'm going to take my levers and close it up. Close up the other side. Get my bobbin case, open it up, stick it in there, make sure you get it settled, let it go, and then slowly turn your hand wheel towards you to make sure everything is smooth. If your needle goes down and you hit something, do not force it. If you hit something, take your needle back up, take your bobbin out, take everything out and put it back in again half moon so we need to get that all the way to the left so to get that other piece that's going to form the moon on the left this is forming the moon on the right you want to make sure that it's seated right in that lip cover forming a U Notches at the bottom, two thumbs, slide in there. Now you can hold this in here, so if you don't want to close these notches, you can hold it in there and just turn it and see, is the needle coming down? The needle's coming down, then that's seated properly. We're going to close the levers. 
Everything is going well. Put the bobbin carrier back in there. Oh, goodness. I don't think it's in there. I'll take it out. Nope. You see that? Look. See? I just bent my needle. You see that? That's why you have to make sure that the bobbin carrier and everything is in there as it should be. Isn't that great that I actually performed a boo-boo <laughs> for everyone to see? So the shuttle is ever the shuttle is in there, but my bobbin, if you don't have that bobbin seated correctly. So it has to go in there and click and then it can't turn. See, it's in there and it's not turning. Let the lever go. Now, everything is operating well. And I'm gonna to have to change my needle now because I think I've got a little bend in it and I don't wanna cause no problems. All right, that is how you clean your shuttle area. Thanks for watching.